Hello and welcome back to another edition of Teacher Talks. All right, friends, I have a new one for you. The I Survived, The Attacks of the Grizzlies, 1967. This is the latest of the I Survived books, an awesome, awesome book series if you are not familiar with it. So this is a book series down here by Lauren uh, Tarshish, and each time I say her name, I'm assuming that I get it wrong. So Lauren, if you ever hear these videos, I apologize to you. However, you're an absolutely fantastic author. And one of the things that she is so fantastic about is, you know, I, I first saw these I Survived and I see some of the topics that she covers, which are nonfiction topics, meaning they're, they're true story, while the book is a blend of nonfiction and fiction. And, and that's what I'm going to say that she is absolutely brilliant at. So when I see some of these books and I'm thinking, all right, I teach second grade, I've got third graders I work with as well, is this appropriate for that age group. Like one of the books I just read to my whole class was about 9-11 and the attacks of 9-11, which obviously is a touchy subject. You know, we, we don't want to scare and terrify kids, but at the same time, we want them to understand some of the history, whether it is more recent or not, that has made our country what it is. So we want them to know about these topics, but in a way that is, again, not, not to scare them unnecessarily, but um, at the same time to make make them aware of these events. So anyway, Lauren does a fabulous job of this. She blends together in this chapter style book, she blends together a fiction is usually how it kind of starts with some fictional characters or one character in this case, who basically goes back in time and lives through this nonfiction or real event that happens. So a fictional character going back to this time and living through this nonfiction uh, things here. So. Very, very cool. And then she also does a really nice job at the end of the books. She kind of goes back and lets you know, hey, what part of this was fictional and what really did happen. And in this case, she kind of lets you know more about this national park and more about grizzly bears and these other things. So it does a beautiful job of it. All right, let's take a look here. So here's the spine of our book here. And here's the back of the book, which I will read to you. No grizzly has ever killed a human in Glacier before, until tonight. 11-year-old Melody Vega and her family come to Glacier National Park every year, and it's always been a place where she can forget her troubles. But this year is different. With mom gone, every moment in the park is a heartbreaking reminder of the past. Then Mel comes face to face with the mighty grizzly. Now her only thought is one of survival. Mel will soon be part of one of the most tragic seasons in the history of America's national parks, a summer of terror that will forever change ideas about how grizzlies and humans can exist together in the wild. So again, when I read that, I'm kind of like, wow, is this going to be appropriate for kids? But uh, again, I would strongly suggest if you're a parent out there, and if you're a uh, student, you might want to have your parents read these books first but I'm really surprised and uh, happily surprised at how well this author blends together these real events with some, non with some fiction and um, basically makes them so they're very digestible, very um, appropriate for these age groups. I'm talking about second, third, fourth grade. This guy right here, I haven't put my level on here. I'm pointing to where I normally put them. This is an S on the guided reading level, the GR... GRL, Guided Reading Levels. So Level S puts this book all the way up into about fourth grade, I believe. So some of the readers I have in my second grade class are phenomenal readers, and they're reading up at these fourth and fifth grade levels, and they love the I Survived books. Some of them. Some of them don't care for them at all, but I have quite a few that really, really love this book series, and I know they're excited to get their hands on this one as well. So Again, some of that's my opinion as far as it's being appropriate or not. Make sure that you as a teacher or a parent are giving these a read over before your kiddos get their hands on them. Um, if they're a real delicate type of a child, well, maybe, maybe it's not a great idea for them to be reading these. But uh, again, my opinion is awesome, awesome job. Another fantastic book. Actually, you can see right here, um, they tell you the reading level is in fourth grade. And again, I, I really like that guided reading level system that if you know this channel that I use all the time. All right, friends, that's going to do it for this book review. Hey, do me a favor. Hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and hit that like. And then in the comments down below, if you leave a kind, non-offensive comment about a book series that you would like me to review or a book you'd like me to review, I will do my best to get my hands on it if it makes sense and do a review and maybe even give you a shout out. All right, friends. 
Appreciate it, and we'll see you next time here on Teacher Talks.